Let's talk about the gift of optimism. Let me tell you a story. I used to know a man that I'll call Bob. And Bob worked for a company that was very, very negative. He said he'd wake up in the morning, he'd feel refreshed, then he'd go to work. And during the day, he said the people around him were so negative, he just felt the life being sucked out of him. He said it was a cesspool of negativity. Well, over time, the story goes on, Bob got fired. Now, Bob thought that was the worst thing that could ever happen to him. He was off work for three months. During that time, he was able to do some serious soul searching. And he started to come back alive again and not be so negative. And then he got a job that was absolutely wonderful, filled with people that were optimistic. And of course, he became the same way. He became optimistic everywhere he went, including after work. In Psalms 20, verse 4, it says, May God grant you according to your heart's desire and fulfill all your purpose. Not part of your purpose, but all of your purpose. Well, your heart's desire is not to become more negative, to become more cynical, to become a person that's just infilled with, with depression. No, you want more. You want all your purpose to be fulfilled. It has been said that people who inspire others are those who see invisible bridges at the end of dead-end streets. In order to have that kind of vision, you have to be an optimistic individual. You have to believe in God more than dead-end streets. You have to know that there's something beyond, even though you may not be able to see it at the moment. Well, one way to give comfort to our friends is to share encouragement and hope. Hope, like many human emotions, is absolutely contagious. When we associate with optimistic friends, we're encouraged by their faith and buoyed up by their optimism. But discouragement is contagious too. And if we spend too much time in the company of pessimists, well, our attitude, like theirs, will tend to spiral down into cynicism and negativity. So today, I ask you to look for reasons to celebrate God's endless blessings. And while you're at it, look for people to join you in that same celebration. You'll be better for their company, and they will be better because of yours.